been taught that when the colonists came here, and I just heard a version of this today that really knocked my socks off, that the word Indian, my brother, comes from Indios, which is in God. Now, is that a proper translation? It is. All right. So that Christopher Columbus was not talking about Indians from India because, and if you'll just give us that short That's story. Correct. In 1492, there was no country on planet Earth called India. It was Hindustan. And because they don't teach history the way it should be taught, people believe and don't check to see if what they're being taught is accurate. So when that bear said his response to the crowd that there was no country on planet Earth called India, then his next question was, then how did we get to be called Indians? And he referred that to me, and I said, the response was, I said, you're right. 1492, that land was called Hindustan. And I said, don't confuse that with me being smart. I said, that was the only year I paid attention to this. <laughs> I said, I barely got out of my school. But he asked me again, he said, then how did we get the name? And I said, I, I don't have a clue. Well, he went and asked permission to go to Spain to look in Columbus's law. And he asked two translators, one Italian and one Spanish. He said, I need to know the reference that Columbus made in his log to the people who he met. And in the Spanish, the word Dios means God. And in the context of the phrase Indios, he was referring to the people as being in with God. So it really changes the perspective of the image of the people not being heathens, pagans, and savages, but actually being a higher functioning group of people that was seen. There's much more, but that's tying into exactly your premise and your approach to the history and the things that we need to set straight for the future generation. Well, I thank you, you so gave much. it to me today. <laughs> Because there's a part of me that has always felt somehow or other less than the people that Columbus was actually seeking. And to find out that what you're saying supports the belief that I've always been taught that this was better than the Garden of Eden, that this was a place where there was no warfare. So I, I get to that point because we get to, what was wrong with the darn Iroquois? How did it, why were they fighting so much? And I don't have an answer to that question. But that's, that, 